Hi everybody. Today I'm making a video how much more fuel will you use if you drive in the grooves when the road is very wet and the grooves are full of water. Uh, first I will accelerate to 80 km per hour speed from this conjunction and the zero the fuel consumption meter. Next conjunction, which is here. So I will zero the fuel consumption meter and try to drive 80 kilometers per hour in the groovy watery hose as much as possible on this, this drive. Then, then again, I will turn around and drive to the other direction and try to drive back using the same amount of fuel and always trying to drive in the water now you can really feel the water which are full of potholes here so it twists the steering wheel because there is so much water uh, at the moment we are doing 80 km per hour and the fuel consumption is 3.5 liters so far. Again some big watery holes. There should be about 2 to 3 deciliter difference in fuel consumption if you don't drive in the grooves especially when there is so much water in the grooves at the moment I will turn around here and drive to the other direction 2.6 liters was before this acceleration in echo mode flat out acceleration to 80 Again, trying to drive in the grooves as much as possible. Now it's 4.4 liters. I need a little bit. I accelerate to 90, so I need to remember accelerate to 90, also to the other direction, and try to drive in the grooves. so that was a little bit downhill to the other direction 4.3 and the speed is still 80 80 kilometers per hour and we will stop the measuring here and it was 4.1 liters when driving in the wet roofs and now we, I will again turn around and try to avoid driving in the grooves as much as possible and again accurate painting We will zero the fuel consumption meter on the same conjunction. Speed is 80. And here we press the zero meter and start driving off the groove. So the best driving line here is near center of the road and try to avoid 
driving the grooves. And let's see what kind of results we will get this time. We can actually glide in neutral here a little bit because the car rolls much better. 3.4 liters at the moment. Speed is still 80 kilometers per hour. 3.2 liters. So now we are coming to the same consumption where we need to turn around and drive to the other direction. I try to do it as much as same as the last time, so accurate quite fast and make the turn. Again. I will accelerate in echo mode, flat out acceleration in echo mode to 90 km per hour. Now it was 3.4 liters when we started driving to the other direction. So 90 and start gliding in neutral, 4.0 liters at the moment. And the speed starts to slow down. But we glide much further because we are not driving intercourse. 3.8 liters at the moment. Three point nine liters. Again trying to drive near the center line, but still in our own side of the road. 9 liters. Four liters, little bit uphill. Speed still 80 kilometers per hour. Now we come to the downhill and we can glide in neutral here. We are now not even gliding in neutral and the needle drops under through 2 liters. I can glide in neutral a little bit here. Speed is still 80. And now we are coming to the consumption where we measure the fuel consumption. 3.8 at the moment. Here. 3.7 liters. So there was a clear difference if you avoid driving in the groove so that is pretty easy easy thing to do it's also much safer because if you don't have quite good tires and the depth is about two millimeters it's very risky to drive potholes which are full of water because you can lose the control of the car pretty easily if there's lots of water there and the car will start to twist and shake and it takes some skills and practice to learn how to fix those errors especially if you are not so are a little bit of tired it's wise to have good tires in your car because you never know what you have to avoid driving in the roads this was it folks for today and keep tuning your loopos.